Hello happy people, welcome back to Nail Therapy Thursday. Um, I'm super excited for this video. Um, today I'm gonna be uh, doing a Halloween design. Um, and so this video might act, might not actually be released on Thursday. It's probably gonna be released earlier than that. I'm super excited. I'm actually collaborating with a fellow YouTuber. Um, her name is It's A Wrap. She makes amazing content. Um, definitely go check out her videos. She do nail reviews, nail hauls, different nail designs, reviewing different products, wig reviews, etc. She kind of does a little bit of everything. So her channel is really cool. Definitely go check it out. I am going to leave her uh, channel link down below so you all can um, go and take a look at some of her videos too because she has some amazing content. But today we're going to be collaborating. I'm super excited. So she's going to be doing um, a Halloween nail set with using acrylic and I'm going to be doing it um, with dip powders. So let me hop right on into this tutorial and show you all the design that I come up with. And then when you're done watching my video, definitely go over and check out It's a Wraps video to see her Halloween nail design. So items you'll need to get started is um, base gel, base top coat, as always. You'll also need um, your dip powders of choice. So originally I was gonna do red and white nails, um, but then I decided that I wanted to do this gray powder so I recently got this and it's a thermal changing powder and I just want to see what that looks like on my um, hands so it's from model ones they don't have a color heel but I'll have this link down below as well as this powder and this is crimson from um, GH uh, from GH dip so that's their powder here so you will need these two um, you'll also need you know, your regular tools, so a file, um, a brush, cuticle pusher, and a drill. So these are the main items you'll need to get started here. Oh yeah, I'm also gonna be using um, this dip powder that I got. Um, it's a glow in the dark dip powder. So I'm really excited to just try this out and see if it works. Um, so I have this, and I'll also link this down below. And then last thing you'll need is a peel off base coat if you don't want to keep your set on for a while. Um, this is a peel off base coat I'm actually going to be testing out in this video so I want to see if it'll allow for easy removal of these nails. So for the nail art I'm actually going to be using some of these Halloween nail stickers. I have a few different ones actually. I also have these and these are a few too. They glow in the dark. I'm not sure if you can actually see them or not. Um, some of these I got from Shein, some of these I picked up at my local Walmart. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hop right on into this video. So on my nails, I have a few things going on here. So when I took my last set off, I had a few chips on my nails. So um, on this nail, there's builder gel. On this nail, there's builder gel. Just on the corner here, you can barely tell, but yeah, the nail broke off, so. Um, there's some builder gel there in the corner and then the rest of them just have nail aid on it just as a protectant in between um, my designs and so this is the nail aid that I'm using um, to just kind of protect my nails whenever I don't have anything on them so this stuff works actually really good I do like it I'll also leave that link down below this is optional but I am going to go ahead and put on some SPF I actually got this idea from Dollar Diva designing nails and this is something that's going to help protect your hands since we have to constantly put them in and out of the UV light um, that's going to help stop wrinkles and aging of your hands so I really like that hack I know they also have like gloves and stuff but I don't really want to put gloves on my hand when I'm filming. So this was a great alternative and I'm super excited that I've, I discovered that. And plus I have this SPF that's been sitting around. So I'm excited to use it and um, yeah, protect my skin, you guys. My nails have been filed, shaped, and buffed. Um, last thing left for me to do is just dehydrate. I do have some alcohol here. I'm gonna spray my nails to fully dehydrate them. I'm just gonna uh, wipe them down. I did recently order some lint-free wipes, but cause these, I mean, you can see there's just so much lint on these wipes, but I wanna use them up cause I have a lot of them. So once I use these up, I'm gonna be switching over to some lint-free like, wipes, which I'm like really excited about. But anywho, so the nails are all prepped. They're nice, dehydrated and ready to go. So first I'm gonna go in with my NYC, um, let's see, strip me off base coat. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and just apply it to the entire nail. Originally, I was just gonna apply it to like the middle of the nail, just in case I wanted to wear these for a few days. But I really wanna see if they will easily pop off. So I'm gonna apply it to the whole nail here. Um, and yeah, and just see how it actually works out. 
Okay, so yeah, this one's kind of weird. It's like coming right off of the builder gel. <laughs> Strange. All right, anywho, it's on there. So what I'm gonna do is wait for um, this to turn completely clear and then I'll start the application process. So the peel off base coat is nice and dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this nail design. Actually, before I get started, I want to go ahead and stir up my powder so that I can make sure it is nice and fluffy for application. So all of my powders are prepped and ready to go. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the um, the base coat here and apply that to my index finger, my pinky finger, and my uh, thumbnail, which I likely do my thumbnail off camera. But let me go ahead and start this process here. So you'll apply a thin layer of base coat and then just pour the dip powder over and then you'll flash cure this for about 10 seconds. And if you see any wet spots, definitely make sure to go in and make sure the powder's all absorbed in there. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with my gray color here. And this is the thermal changing uh, dip powder. I'm really excited to use this. I've not used any thermals before, so let's hope that um, it works properly because <laughs> I'm not sure if it's going to stay that color because of the warmth of my nail bed or if it's going to just be changing. So we'll see what it ends up doing here. So these nails have been fully cured for 60 seconds. That gray color is looking really, really cool. You see when it gets, uh, I guess hot, yeah, when it gets warm, it's gonna be like that light gray, almost white color. And then when it gets hot, the tips are gonna start turning dark gray again. So I'm really excited to see how this is gonna like turn out in the end. Um, so I do have uh, my brush here. Everything's fully cured. I'm gonna go ahead and dust off that excess powder, like so. And I am gonna use two different brushes, one for the red and one for the gray, so that the colors don't cross contaminate. Going in with the next coat here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat this process for all the nails, so you all can just kinda veg out. I'll play some music and enjoy the show. Okay, so I have dipped uh, the nails. I dipped all of them three times, especially these two, because I wanted to make sure it was opaque enough. So weird thing is with the um, peel off base coat I put on, it looks like it's causing a little bit of bubbling on the nails. I'm not sure if y'all can see that or not, but I hope that doesn't mess up the integrity of this manicure because I would be really sad if it did. So I'm gonna go ahead and dust off these here. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply base coat and top coat to give myself a nice smooth surface to work with. Okay, so the nails have been fully cured. This is what they look like. They look really beautiful, really smooth. So I am gonna go ahead and apply the uh, nail stickers. There is no sticky surface, so it's a nice smooth base for me to work with. I do feel like that gel smoothed out this nail, which is nice. And then when I go in with my final layer of um, top coat, it's gonna make everything nice and smooth. So let me go in, go ahead and start with the design. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands. I have a lot of dust on my hands. So let me go wash my hands really quick. I'll be right back. So this is what the base is looking like. I am loving the base that I formed for these nails. Um, I did do my thumb off camera and uh, I, I ended up doing three coats of each one of these uh, dip powders. One thing I learned working with this red, I don't know if it was actually the peel off base coat that was causing the bubbling. I think this red in general was really hard to work with because it's a deeper red 
And so I noticed that I had to cure it a little bit longer. So I actually needed to cure it for two minutes as opposed to just the regular 60 seconds that I normally do with my dip powders. And so keep that in mind when you all are working with dip powder using gel that um, some of the deeper colors, um, more pigmented colors, you'll have to cure for a longer time to make sure um, it's cured all the way through. So I think I got that bubbling because um, I didn't cure it long enough. Um, so I learned that in particular working with the thumbnails. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my Halloween designs. Um, I did kind of decide what I wanted to do off camera. I am gonna use these two sheets here. I think I wanna have like the green, Grim Reaper with some stars and spider webs. So let me just go ahead and show you all. I think I wanna start with my ring finger and I'm gonna do a haunted house with like some stars. So this haunted house here, I'm gonna put on my nails. I'm gonna put a little bit of grass here beside it and some stars and then I wanna put some of those glow in the dark things on there. So let me go ahead and hop right on in with that. So with my haunted house, I just wanna take this sticker off and place it right on the nail. I'm not really good with nail art, you guys. So that's why I heavily rely on um, Nail stickers, they just make my life a lot easier and I still get the nice cool look without all the um, extra work. So I'm gonna go ahead and place my haunted house here. Next, I'm gonna do some stars. So I wanna make the stars a little bit on the smaller side so that um, when I add my little glow in the dark dots, they have places to go. And then I might do one more star right here actually still. So that's the ring finger. And I did want to add a little bit of grass. So let's see if I can add some grass here. I think I'm gonna just peel this up and cut it in half and put the grass on either side of the house. Like so. Okay, so this is one part of the grass. And I'm just gonna put it right here. Actually, I need to cut this clear piece off. Okay, that's great. So we got the grass on one side of the house. I'm gonna put the grass on the other side of the house, like so. Just like that, okay, cool. So that looks really cool. So you see the haunted house, it has grass and some stars in the sky. So now I'm gonna go through and add in my glow in the dark uh, little stars with my dip powder and see how that works out. <laughs> I hope it works the way I'm envisioning it. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my gel base and I'm just gonna take a little bit of that base on the tip of the, um, what is this, toothpick. I'm sorry, cuticle stick, and then just place it in random places around the stars. I think that's good. And then because I'm not using um, that much dip powder, I'm actually gonna uh, use a pipette to put those dots on. So I'm just gonna sprinkle the powder over the top here. Oh, perfect, yeah. So then I got my green stars. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds. Very cool. So you can kind of see they're kind of glowing in the dark here. So I'm gonna just take my little duster brush and dust that off. That looks really, really cool, you guys. Oh my goodness, I love it. Wow, yeah, it's pretty dope. Okay, so that's this nail. And next I'm gonna do this nail with the Grim Reaper. Oh, that looks amazing. Oh, I'm glad my vision came to life. On this middle finger, I'm actually gonna do the Grim Reaper with some bats on it. So 
Where's my Grim Reaper guy? So I do have a Grim Reaper. Where'd he go? Okay, here we go. All right, so this is the Grim Reaper here. So I'm gonna put him on this nail with some bats. So I'm gonna just take my little um, tweezers here, put the corner up, and then place him carefully on the nail. These nail stickers are actually really easy to work with, and they're from Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild is a makeup brand. I didn't even know that they had nail stickers, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna place him right there in the middle. He's set and ready to go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just put some bats around him, some creepy little bats. I'm gonna do this small bat here, coming from this side, and then these two little bats over here. I think I'm gonna do it that way, let's see. These are supposed to be bats. So those bats there, and then this bat here. I'm gonna just have that bat kind of flying in this way. Let's see, like so. So we got some bats over here. Okay. And then next we're gonna do um, some spider webs and Happy Halloween over here. I think I'm gonna just put Happy Halloween right here in the middle. Like so. That looks perfect. And then I wanna put some spider webs. Okay. Put a spider web here. Okay, so my camera went dead while I was uh, putting this uh, spider web on, but I went ahead and did some more glow in the dark dots on this middle finger because I'm really liking how that looks. So next I'm gonna go ahead and add a spider here at the bottom of Happy Halloween. Um, let's see here. I'm thinking I wanna do this little tiny spider here. And I'm trying to decide if I want to do it off to the side. I'm gonna do it off to the side here. Just place it like it's crawling up my fingernail. Yeah, that's awesome here. Um, trying to decide if I should do another spider or not. So I think I'm gonna just leave that now as is. Um, I feel like I could maybe draw something here that glows in the dark, but I'm not really sure what. Maybe I could just do eyes that glow in the dark over here. Yeah, let me just try and do that. Like some glow in the dark eyes. <laughs> Cause I'm not feeling any of my other thoughts here. So I think I wanna try to make the eye like be sharp, like kind of come off to the side. Okay, that looks like that might actually be the look I'm going for here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this dip powder on it and see if I can make that happen. Okay, y'all, so look at my little eyes. Oh my goodness. Okay, I am loving this. So I got my little creepy little eyes over here. That is awesome. <laughs> that looks freaking amazing. I'm so excited. <laughs> so I got my little glow in the dark eyes on this nail with my little spider webs and such. And then over here, I think I'm just gonna do a spider, a spider webs and then a spider coming down the web. Yeah, so the spider web will be coming down my pinky nail like that. I'm gonna just have a spider over here in the corner. This beautiful beauty right here, he's gonna go there. I'm tempted to do like a glow in the dark spider way up there, just to kind of keep the glow in the dark stuff going. So let me see if I can add like a really thin line. 
and let that be like a glow in the dark thing. All right, you guys, this is really sad, but it looks like I already have lifting over here because maybe the peel off base coat or maybe just this red in general, but I'm gonna super glue this down and keep it moving because I'm not even finished with my design yet. So yeah, next I'm gonna go ahead and do um, my thumb and I think I'm just gonna do like a black cat with some stars and let that be that. Okay, you guys, so this is what the nails are looking like. I am really loving how this set turned out. This is my first time doing Halloween nails, and um, this is what everything looks like with the stickers applied and the glow in the dark um, dip powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply a top coat and do a final reveal shot, you guys. I'm so excited about this. Okay, you all, this is what the finished product is looking like. I am absolutely in love with these nails and really shocked that I was able to produce something like this. Look at my Halloween set. Oh my God, like, I'm so excited about this set. So we have the spider with its little glow in the dark web. We have the haunted house. We have the grim reaper with some bats. Happy Halloween with the spooky eyes which I actually drew myself. So exciting. Look at the detail, y'all, look at the detail. Oh my gosh, I love this set so much, you guys. Okay, so, and then we got the black cat. So yeah, um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some cuticle oil on my nails to keep my cuticles nice and hydrated and we will be all ready to go. Okay, you guys, so yeah, I just applied my cuticle oil and this is the final look. I am absolutely loving this set. I think I did an amazing job, especially my first time doing um, Halloween nails. So I wanna show you all the different stuff that it could do. So this is a glow in the dark set. So I'm gonna see if I can show you all how it glows. Oh my goodness, look at this, you guys. So you see the spooky eyes, you see all the the glow in the dark from the house and everything here's the black cat nail these spooky little eyes i absolutely love this and then i want to show you all the thermal as well so you see right now the nails are this light gray color i'm going to put it in some cold water and show you what they look like when they turn dark this is what the nails look like when they turn dark and what's cool is as it starts to as my hand starts to warm the nail color back up it kind of creates this ombre so yeah you guys you see the ombre now oh my gosh this is so fun okay this is probably one of the coolest sets i've done the most intricate and the most fun so yeah i hope you all enjoyed this video um i had a really fun time creating these nails and uh, putting together some halloween designs um again this is a collaboration with it's a wrap so definitely head over to her channel to see what Halloween design she comes up with um, using acrylic. And yeah, I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursdays. So if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around and join the happy family and come back next Thursday if you wanna see some more nail art tutorials, um, hauls, etc. And as always, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.